coming up. Look chopped up. Like chopped cheese. Today on the everyday life, I'm taking you inside a crazy Greek kitchen. Let's get it. It's that time, hit the street, looking for a spot to eat. After the rain comes the sun and the foodies come out to have some fun. So I got the shrimp saganaki and as an appetizer I got the feta fries. Mitos is my drink of choice today. We're gonna sit there and have you right out, all right? No problem. So these are the feta fries. Let's go ahead and try this. are amazing the vinegar sauce that's in it the feta flavors on this the butters those feta fries were a plus so this is balsamic glaze and a creamy feta sauce Can we heat it up again and bring it back or? I mean, I, I would like to see fire. Fire? Yeah. So this is the Saganaki. It comes with pita bread. This is the chicken. Let's give that a taste. Chicken grilled perfectly. Sauce is delicious. It's the rice. Tastes like pilaf rice. Right? Look at these green beans. Look at that. Chicken got capers. It definitely tastes the lemon. So those feta fries were the start today. The flavor on that vinaigrette, also along with the the feta cheese, that whole mixture. Oh, that was that was delicious. I gotta give it to them on that. 
the shrimp the shrimp not so much it, it it wasn't my cup of tea it wasn't bad it wasn't bad it's just I, I like I like very very strong flavor a lot of seasoning and it just wasn't there it was in the sauce you know along with the onions but it wasn't on the actual shrimp and uh, the chicken the chicken was cooked perfectly it was grilled it had that char flavor uh, the lemony flavor that they they call it limon so I mean I expected lemon I got lemon the rice was regular the rice was you know peel off rice the green beans were something different that, that red sauce I don't know what it is um, that that red seasoning it had on it but it it was it was very very bland and sweet it had a sweet flavor to it I've never tasted green beans like that service was phenomenal that poor server he brought out the flaming shrimp he was supposed to light it up and flames were supposed to come out didn't quite work I guess he waited too long flames didn't come out I didn't get that much flames um, but other than that his his service was was good it was good service they were friendly and um, it's a good spot this is the damage today is the soft opening of Koki Bakery in downtown Sanford. These guys have a location in Deltona as well. But today will be the soft opening of their downtown Sanford location. And they have amazing bread. Let's get it. It's a beautiful Sanford morning. So we're pulling up to Koki Bakery. So these are the amazing breads that I'm talking about. Check it out. How delicious does that look? Let's try it. Oh, this is delicious. Sweet, soft. So the inside of that bread, she said it was cream cheese. But I ain't never taste no cream cheese like that. So they probably holding back a secret ingredient. Cause it was good. They also got amazing sandwiches. Best soda in the world. Sandwich looks good. Almost look chopped up. Like chopped cheese. So FYI, there's no outside seating here. The place is very small with very limited seating. So you probably want to order and take it with you. And also very little parking because it's downtown. The sandwiches run from $7.99 to $9.99, very reasonable. All types of pastries and coffee, sodas, juices. So this is the bisterami. It's got steak, mayonnaise, pastrami, lettuce, bun is crispy. Let's check it out. It's good. Delicious crispy bread. A lot of flavor in the steak. Cheesiness. Thumbs up. Next up, we back in Lake Mary at Bronx House Pizza. Turn up that 
turn up closer. So we're gonna try three different slices. I got the Big Al, the Beast of Burden, and the pizza called the Hot 97. Thank you. All right. This is the Big Al, right? The Big Al and the Beast of Burden. Okay. So this pizza here is called the Beast of Burden. It's got mozzarella, pepperoni, and meatball. This one here is called the Big Al. Banana peppers. Sausage, pepperoni. I'm gonna start with the beast of burden. Pretty decent size. So the beast of burden comes with meatball, ricotta, mozzarella, pepperoni. And I must say, that ricotta and the meatball together, the butters. Let's go ahead and try the big owl. It's the one with banana peppers in it. This one's not as special. I mean, the banana peppers are crispy, it's a good touch. The nine stands out like the beast the bird. Now I'm gonna try the hot 97. Look at that hot honey dripping off of it. The hot 97 got chicken, jalapenos, hot honey, and mozzarella. Hot 97. The honey is overpowering on this pizza. Trouble's coming. Let me show you. There goes trouble. What you were doing? Hot. So the hot 97 is very hot, fiery hot. Chicken is crispy. Let me show you the chicken, how crispy it is. It's like it's breaded and fried. I say, I thought I'd be more impressed with this pizza. Don't get me wrong, it's good. But the honey is very overpowering. Too sweet for me. Sweet heat. If you like sweet heat, Hot 97 is a pizza. Hot 97? Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of preference. My wife likes the hot 97 pizza. She likes the honey. That's a favorite part of it. And the sweet heat. That's the part I don't like. So it's just a matter of preference. So a couple videos back, we went to a place called Brick and Bowls. And I ordered the pizza called the fucking hot pizza. 
I thought this hot 97 pizza was gonna be the same thing. It basically has the same ingredients. Bricks and bowls got that locked down. So there's nowhere near that. Their dough is not pizza. To me, it's not pizza. That's pizza. Yeah, in, in all fairness, the bricks and bowls put spicy relish on there and a couple other things. I think that's what made the difference and makes it a little bit better. But they didn't have traditional dough. They kind of had like that deep dish type dough, but not even deep dish. So, you know, make of that what you will. It's preference. I ordered something called the Boogie Down. What that is is french fries, bacon, mozzarella, brown gravy. It's like disco fries. I'm gonna take that a go. So these are the Boogie Down fries. Reheated overnight. Didn't quite get to film the inside yesterday. Place was crowded. A um, couple people seem a little offset, put off by the recording. I'm, I don't like to inconvenience people, make people feel uncomfortable. So I'm doing this review, I'm finishing this review from home. So these fries consist of brown gravy. They have uh, bits of bacon in it, mozzarella cheese. Looks like some basil sprinkled over it. Let's try it. Bacon, mozzarella, brown gravy. I mean, they're good fries. They're like, um, it's like loaded fries. Like loaded fries that you would get from anywhere else. The only difference is the brown gravy. It gives it a different taste. It's pretty good. The Beast of Burden is by far their best pizza. Um, all the other pieces is good. But uh, that nothing really stands out. It's, it's a solid pizza spot. Place is small, uh, so I mean the ambiance is good. It's a small New York type pizza shop, but you know a little bit bigger. Sit down and eat. Ambiance is okay. Um, encountered one of the rudest employees in all my reviews in this spot, but I wouldn't hold it against them. Uh, that employee could be having a bad day. So if you want to give the, the spot a try, it's in Lake Mary. It's called Bronx House Pizza. And they have more than pizza. They do other dishes as well, chicken parm. Uh, these fries here, all types of stuff. I don't know about y'all. I don't care how good the fries are. I got to eat my own ketchup. On to the next.